The terrible cruelty suffered by child migrants sent to Australia from England has been in the headlines lately with the release of the movie Oranges and Sunshine. Both the British and Australian governments have apologised, but the Fairbridge Foundation involved in the scheme has refused to agree to a settlement. Today, 65 former students of the Fairbridge Farm School started unprecedented court action. They're suing the organisation and both the federal and state governments, claiming they turned a blind eye to years of abuse. Deborah Cornwall reports. I never had a child that liked so many here. It was taken from me. So today we start in earnest a fight for justice. Many have suffered terribly. Their lives have been really ruined by what happened to them at, these, at this school. Once home to 900 British children, it's almost four decades since Fairbridge Farm School closed its doors. But it's only now, well into middle age, many of those children are starting to give up their terrible secrets. You may like me, sister, this one. Launching a class action today against Fairbridge and the state in the hope that finally they'll be heard. I would cry till I felt I was going to break inside. I'd curl up in a fetal position. I can remember curling up in the corner and just wanting to die as a child. He molested me when I was five years old. And I do remember sitting on the steps and at night time when I went to bed rocking backwards and forwards in my bed. And he tore my pants off and he sodomised me. And I was about 13. I don't know how they can do it to people. Based in central New South Wales, Fairbridge Farm School was sponsored by the grace and favour of British royalty, held up at the time as a shining beacon of the child migrant scheme. They are soon on their way to the Fairbridge Farm at Molon, one of a series of farm schools founded by the late Kingsley Fairbridge, a Rhodes Scholar who conceived the idea whilst at Oxford 40 years ago. British waifs, as young as four, were sent across the globe, sacrificed by their parents on the promise of a better life for their children. The idea was to take these miserable wretches from the underclass and the underbelly of, of British society and to make them long-limbed and healthy, toiling in the sun. Former Fairbridge ward and high-profile public administrator David Hill has often been touted